This is 3D view of a two-stage reciprocating air compressor. This type of reciprocating air compressor is used when low flow of air is required at very high pressure. In this view, this side is one stage and this side is another stage and at middle this is the position of crankshaft. This is crankshaft casing. Let us see from other side. From back side if we see then this is the motor and this is the flywheel which is rotated by V belt. Now I am removing the casing. Now this is the flywheel and this is the V belt. This is the motor and this is the flywheel which is rotated by V belt. This is the V belt. Now I am going back to other side. This is the inlet line to first stage and this is the first stage dampener, this one. In this first stage dampener, any pulsation or pressure fluctuating effect is reduced and then it goes to first stage suction. This is first stage suction and this is first stage. After compression from this first stage, this is first stage outlet which goes to first stage intercooler. This is the intercooler. This is cooling water inlet line to intercooler and this is cooling water outlet line from intercooler. And on this side, this is the outlet from first stage intercooler. This is second stage suction and this is second stage casing. After compression from second stage, this is the outlet from second stage. Then it comes to second stage dampener. This is second stage discharge dampener. In this dampener, any pulsation effect is eliminated. And then it goes to second stage after cooler. This is second stage after cooler inlet line, and this is second stage after cooler. This is cooling water line to second stage after cooler, and this is cooling water return line from second stage after cooler. This is second stage after cooler. From second stage after cooler, this is the outlet line. From second stage after cooler, this outlet line goes to second stage discharge dampener. This is second stage discharge dampener, where all pulsating or reciprocating effect is minimized. Then this is the outlet from second stage or final stage dampener. This is the final outlet.
now if i remove the first stage now if i remove this first stage casing you can see the cylinder inside the first stage this is the cylinder inside the first stage this one and if i remove and if i remove the casing of second stage then you can see this is the second stage cylinder this one this one is the second stage cylinder and if i remove the crankshaft casing this is crankshaft casing then you can see the crankshaft inside now you can see the crankshaft this is the crankshaft this is the shape of crankshaft this crankshaft is rotated by this flywheel and when when this crankshaft rotates then compression takes place on this side and suction takes place on this side again when it rotates then compression takes place on this side and suction takes place on this side one thing you can see due to this type of shape of the crankshaft center line of this stage and center line of this stage is offset little bit offset not at same center like this this is at this center and this is at this center now you can see how crankshaft rotates air is compressed by the piston on one side while air is sucked by the piston on other side now you can see how entire reciprocating air compressor unit works left side piston movement is one stage and right side piston movement is another stage now you can see an installation of similar reciprocating air compressor this is the main motor which drives the flywheel through the v belt if we see from other side this is the casing inside which main crankshaft is there one piston cylinder assembly is there on right side and another piston cylinder is there on left side now you can see right side piston cylinder assembly and left side piston cylinder assembly when crankshaft rotates air is compressed on either right side or on left side now let us see from where inlet line is coming and entering to the compressor this is the air inlet line to first stage suction dampener this is first stage suction dampener from the other side this is the first stage suction dampener top line is inlet line and bottom line is outlet line from the dampener at this first stage piston is moving inside the cylinder and air is compressed by the piston 
then after first stage compression compressed air comes out from bottom of first stage casing then compressed air comes to first stage discharge dampener where the pulsation effect is dampened from first stage discharge dampener outlet air goes to first stage intercooler for cooling from other side this is the first stage intercooler inlet in this first stage intercooler hot inlet air is cooled now we are going to cooling water circuit now you can see blue color cooling water supply and return lines to this intercooler This is cooling water supply line to the interstage cooler and this is cooling water outlet line from the interstage cooler. Now we are going to see compressor's first stage intercooler outlet to second stage inlet. This is first stage intercooler's outlet which is coming to second stage suction dampener this is second stage suction dampener in this second stage suction pulsation dampener any pulsation effect is eliminated and then from bottom of dampener air goes to second stage casing where air is compressed by piston inside the cylinder then after second stage compression compressed air comes out from bottom of second stage casing to second stage discharge dampener in this second stage discharge dampener pulsation effect is eliminated and then hot compressed air goes to the after cooler for cooling this is cell and tube type after cooler where hot compressed air comes for cooling and these are cooling water inlet and outlet lines then from after cooler this is the final high pressure compressed air line going to the process unit with check valve and isolation valve now you can see there are lot of cooling water line safety valves using tubing all safety valves outlet is connected to a drain header this is the drain header where all safety valves outlet water is collected and then from this drain header water is terminated to this surface drain